Today, I'm going to recap number six, Oklahoma versus number 13, West Virginia. And all that's coming up after the bumper. What do you mean you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ! What's up, kinfolk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. And today is a de facto playoff game for both Oklahoma and West Virginia because earlier in the day, Texas handily beat Kansas. They are in the Big 12 title game. And the winner of Oklahoma, West Virginia... Yeah, they get into the Big 12 title game. So, win and you're in. If you don't, Alamo Bowl, anyone? Nobody wants to go to that. But this game got off to the start that many folks thought it would be, which is defense is optional, especially if you're Oklahoma. So, on the first series, yeah, you get gashed, and it's not looking good, and then Buki got his grits cooked by David Sills, fifth on a 41-yard pass and catch. Just, okay, fine. Give the ball to the offense and Kyler Murray. For which, that's always the best course of action because as this shirt says, which you can purchase at Teespring in the RJ Young store, we have Kyler and you don't. Took it 55 yards to the house. Look, man, I saw him in one-on-one -on -one against this dude playing defense in West Virginia and he knew that he was going to get worked. Don't take that L, dog. Just stop. Anyway, he took it 55 yards to the house. You tie it up. And you got Kyler Murray in the end zone and you got West Virginia fans just Booing because they know what you know, which is that Kyler Murray is a teenage mutant ninja turtles villain because all he does is put your defense in the shredder. What I'm saying is Kyler came to burn your couch, West Virginia. Of course, then you give the ball back to West Virginia and they promptly run the ball down your throat and score. Wrap up a tackle? Please. I don't trust this defense to wrap up their Christmas presents. Set the edge? Nah, I don't trust this defense to set a dinner table. Of course, on the next series, Oklahoma gets the ball back, and that's always a good thing, because that meant Kyler plus Kennedy plus Hollywood equals touchdown. And, you know, ESPN kept cutting to Antonio Brown on the sideline, wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers, dressed as Curtis Mayfield, dressed as a pit pimp. I don't know. I just wanted someone to hand him an OU jersey and say, yo, bah, why don't you go play some defensive back right quick? However, Robert Barnes was having a day. And while that targeting call, that nine call, should have been a call, and the Big 12 refs finally let one slide for Oklahoma, we need about 96 makeup calls. It was nice to see Robert Barnes finally have a coming out party. He was kind of everywhere. He was making hard hits. He got in the way of some passes. He's the only guy in the secondary I had some good things to say about. I thought Trey Norwood was getting his grits cooked. Y'all think Trey Norwood was playing good defense. I know that West Virginia scored 28 in the first half. To which, with this defense, it's getting really hard to just say what exactly is the problem because it's the chicken or the egg argument, which the chicken has to be coaching, the egg has to be players. But when it works, it works. And of course, when you got Kyler Murray, you expect for the defense not to be that big a deal. And then Kyler Murray put the ball on the ground, which leads me to what I have known for years which is that live stripper name is Karma. Of course, on the next drive, Oklahoma had the ball and Kyler plus Hollywood equals six if you're really paying attention. See what I did there? Then West Virginia gets the ball back and continues to cook the secondary's grits with sauce. Good God, somebody stop David Sills, please. And then Kennedy Brooks' family because it takes one to the house. And he had like six carries for 109 yards in the first half because he is a goat, low key. That could be the next great Oklahoma tailback. Thought it was going to be Trey Sermon. Could still be Trey Sermon. But Kennedy Brooks, all that dude does is gash people and get tutties. And then the coup de grace, Caleb Kelly, who started the game, gets the strip, the sack, the fumble, the recovery, and the score for the quintuplet to prove none of us know anything at all about this defense. My goodness. So at halftime, Oklahoma is averaging 14.7 yards per play, had 366 yards of total offense, and is up by 735-28, while West Virginia, because the defense is trash, put up 371 yards of offense. Can't believe this. Oklahoma had 100-yard rusher and a 100-yard receiver in the first half, and they're up just by seven. And the difference in the game is Caleb Kelly getting the strip, the sack, the fumble, the recovery, and the tutty. My goodness. Whoever set the over-under at 88 in Vegas, you just got fired. I mean, you are so fired. Because the way that this game ended, if you took the under, you're just flat. Not very smart. Don't want to use that one word, but come on, man. Who in their right mind thought that this game was going to stay under 100 points 
for the over under. No! Plus, if you bet the under, you're probably not that much fun to be around like this game was, unless you're unless you're playing OU's defense, for which gave up 700 yards of offense. 700. Two defensive scores, two forced fumbles, five stops, 700 yards of offense. Gave up over 500 yards passing to Will Greer. Gave up a 200-yard receiver in Gary Jennings. West Virginia seemed to get everything they wanted. Got off 90 plays, and yet, because this offense is too legit to quit, Oklahoma was able to put up 670 yards of offense on like 64 plays, and like 60 of those were actual plays. The others were like victory formation and whatnot. But when it came down to crunch time, because Oklahoma's up by three, and if they do not get Kyler Murray or anybody else to the first down marker, you knew West Virginia was going to score because, I mean, I know Oklahoma's defense was on the field, but it felt like they weren't. I mean, felt like OU won this game without a defense because Kyler Murray, they dropped eight. He found whoever was open, CeeDee Lamb sliding to make the grab of the day, even though Hollywood Brown had a 200-yard day, huge day. Kennedy Brooks had a huge day. No, that play where Kyler Murray was scrambling, moving dudes around, and CeeDee Lamb came back to the ball, that's the play. And then you need a first down to seal it, and we have Kyler Murray, and you don't. So he sprints for the first down, and that is how this game ends 59-56. to Oklahoma scores 59 points in back-to-back -back affairs against West Virginia. Punches his ticket in OU Texas Part Doe. I'm here for it. Bring it, Texas. All right, that's it for me. Deuces.